Welcome, this is the uh, Tennessee Into Course Algebra 1, practice test number 3, question number 47. I get lost in the middle of that conversation a lot. Anyway, the question says the radius of Jupiter is about 7.4192 times 10 to the 7th meters, and the radius of Mars is about 3.397 times 10 to the 6th meters. The radius of Jupiter is approximately how many times as great as the radius of Mars? Now, they're trying to play like a little bit of a shifty move here. Um, the question has the word times in it, so your natural inclination is to multiply. But that's not really the question they're asking you. They're saying the radius of Jupiter is approximately how many times as great, which means it's sort of the opposite of um, multiplication in that it's division. So how many of the uh, radiuses of Mars can you fit inside the radius of Jupiter? So I'm actually creating this as a division question. I lost my brain there for a second. Now, once you get that in your head, that that's what they're asking you to do, the question becomes very easy because there's only one answer that makes any sense under those conditions. Because if I have sort of the number on top, number on bottom scenario with the, um, the exponents that times 10 to the whole thing, I can actually just uh, sort of subtract the exponents. It's sort of like if I had x to the 7th over x to the 6th. Well, these six of these would cancel out. This is the bigger one, so x to the 1st would stay on top and this would go away. Same thing here. So I know that the um, more important part really in terms of the magnitude of the problem, pop, pop, would be that um, I would have the 10 to the 7th, and so the 10 to the part is the most important part for the size. So I'm left with times 10 to the 1st. On the other side of it, I would just do the 7.1492 uh, divided by 3.97, and you end up with like 2.104. Uh, ish so a is the correct answer to this one but and you're welcome to go ahead and put it in as a division problem in your calculator your answer would probably say e to the first power maybe or it would just give you um, 21.04 just because 10 to the first power isn't great enough for it to really put it in scientific notation you can turn a lot of calculators into scientific notation if you're using the ti-84 plus for instance you go up into the mode button click over one and hit enter to show the s CI, then it's all in scientific notation. But in this case, you really didn't need it. The hard part, once again, was setting the problem up in the first place. Times as great is a division component. If it says times something, and then you may want to multiply. So just be careful uh, and don't pick dive on D there just because it seems like that's what you should be doing. Uh, you want to sort of think about the question just a little bit, and then you can get the correct answer. So that's it.